Uh, second to last, former comptroller Brian Brooks to lead Binance's U.S. trading platform. So this is not, CZ Binance is not stepping down, but Brian Brooks, uh, the former comptroller, is stepping in for Binance U.S. And there's nothing really great about this article. It just, you know, says this is what it is. And the only thing I will say is this. With this actually happening and them bringing Brian Brooks in, I've said this before and you've probably heard this yourself. It's not about what you know, it's who you know. And if Brian Brooks can come in there and all the different people that he actually has contacts with, how far behind do you think it is for Binance.us to actually be able to bring Binance Global into the United States and actually just become that huge exchange? Well, maybe, because I'll also tell you this. Uh, Binance just hired uh, former U.S. Senator Max Baucus, who served Montana from 78 to 2014. So again, if you're looking for regulation and to be able to get and to move into different parts of America, why wouldn't you just hire somebody like this to bring things into the forefront? So uh, I got to tell you, if I was Coinbase, I mean, as good as they're doing, um, you got Binance right on your heels and they got a lot of people behind them. Anyhow, let me know what you think about that in the comment section. I think this is a beautiful move by Binance, especially to really capture a ton of market share, but uh, only time will tell. And then uh, let's finish up, shall we? So talking about articles, Bitcoin price and everything else, we've seen a quite a slump lately, right? Uh, 64,000 just a couple of weeks ago, and now we're at uh, sitting around $54,000. So there's always going to be Somebody who says that uh, the Bitcoin price is going to be just fine. This is Willie Wu. He talks about that uh, there's a uh, line of support, which is the $1 trillion market cap, which is like the line in the sand. And of course, he goes through technical analysis and talks about how great it is. And there's this line of support here around 52000 which is the same thing I've heard a lot of TA people talk about. Who knows? Then we move forward. JP Morgan is talking about how bearish they are in Bitcoin. This is uh, Nicholas... Panna Gertze Glue, pretty sure I nailed that name, in his latest note argued that uh, his price drip would not see buyers step in like before. Futures positions unwinding, they would not reverse, and thus overall interest in institution Bitcoin bets would now fade. And he states, momentum signals will naturally decay from here for several months, months, given their still elevated levels. And here's the thing. They could both be right. Who knows? Willy Woo... Uh, TA is just an indicator, and it could actually be. Then you've got you know JP Morgan coming out and saying, you know what, uh, we don't think it's gonna it's gonna make it, it's gonna go down. It's amazing how JP Morgan always tries to push this price down for Bitcoin. I don't know if you see it, but it seems like every time I turn around, JP Morgan's like, it's not gonna make it, it's gonna fail, it's gonna go down. It's like they're trying to pull the train back to get back into cryptocurrency. Don't know if that's uh, the case of what it actually is, but it seems like what it is. But I just remind everybody again, these things that we see, these corrections, these dips, uh, they're all normal. And this is not the traditional market space. Remember, just like in 2017, I mean, you've got uptrends. Look, even when we when we finished out in 2020, Bitcoin was what, around what, $29,000. Let's see. Let me do some quick math. So four months, we're doing pretty good, I think, even at $52,000. And that's, uh, you know, almost double, a little bit less, 40%. Just remember, we are in a very, very early start of this bull run. We're only around mid-April, April 20th. I think we got a lot of room to grow. And on top of that, if we take a look at... Uh, how much as far as like the corrections, as far as time frame goes. I mean, last time we had uh, huge dips of 29%, which lasted 21 days, 33%, which lasted for 34 days, 40%, which lasted 12 days, and so on and so forth. So uh, 64,000 to 52, I'm not too sure uh, we won't correct ourselves and just keep going up. But again, anybody's guess, I'm still in the camp of Bitcoin at 150K, but uh, I still do believe that altcoins will probably crush it uh, this bull run and maybe uh, a lot more than Bitcoin has, but time will tell. All right, so that is it for today's uh, news and stories. First of all, if you made this far, <laughs> thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the video, found some value, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. All the stories we talk about, usually time sensitive, and that usually helps other channel a tremendous amount. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.